um, weekend sales, we have 22 sales to pack up total. I've made a sale out on at least every platform. So we'll wait till uh, TikTok loads in and then we should be good to go. I actually need to clean the screen on this one. Right it's a little blurry, okay. I think that's a little bit better. All right, just wait for everybody to load in and then we'll go ahead and get started. Appreciate you guys hopping in. If you could tap the screen as soon as you come in, send the likes over live on both YouTube and on TikTok. Give it a minute or two as people are loading in. It still looks blurry. Do you have like a towel or something? There we go. For some reason, this one looks blurry. What's up, Elliot? Really quick. All right, that's a little better. What's good? What's good? Send the likes. Appreciate it. You're late. I am a little bit late, but Monday I'm normally late because we have a ton of sales to grab from, uh, from the bins. So... Appreciate everybody hopping in. Appreciate all the likes. Hello from Texas. What's up? Trish is in the house. Grumpy Trucker's in the house. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you for the like already on YouTube as well. Mom of two, mom to Nicholas is in the house. <clears throat> oh, you're talking to Trish? Oh, okay, gotcha. I was just watching your life's, uh, wife's thr uh, thrift on YouTube. Awesome. Yeah, we put that up last week. I think the YouTube video that we were supposed to put out today is going to be delayed until tomorrow because I don't think I'm going to be able to get it up today. So we'll have the Tuesday YouTube video coming out instead of the normal Monday YouTube video. YouTube, do I look blurry? For some reason, this, this camera looks super blurry right now. I don't know why. What's up? Glitter Farts. What a name. What a name. Appreciate you guys hopping in. If you're new here, hit the follow button top left-hand corner. What I do on this channel is I buy stuff cheap. I resell online for a profit. That's what I do for a full-time job. So if you're interested in making a little side side income, this is definitely live for you. I give away all my information for free. I don't have a, um, I don't have a uh, course or anything like that. Yeah, I know I'm not blurry over on TikTok, but I think I'm a little blurry over on YouTube. I don't know why. Here, let me, maybe if I turn on this light. Yeah, it helped a little bit. Um, I got a speeding ticket on the way to Goodwill today. Ouch. Hopefully you make enough at Goodwill to pay for that speeding ticket. So better than smelly farts. I guess it is. I guess it is. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First sale I made on live last night while I was uh, taking photos. These men's Carhartt jeans, they sold over on Mercari. Um, I paid $5.34 for these. They sold for $32. Shipping cost me $8.30. Fees was $4.63. So after fees, shipping cost of goods, I make $13.73. Are you shopping today? No, we might. We may go shopping tomorrow. If we don't go shopping tomorrow, we are for sure going shopping on Wednesday. We'll do a live thrift. Great source of information. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm just going to stick these in a padded flat rate envelope. I get these free from USPS.com. Anything that fits in here ships on Pirate Ship for $8.30. So um, don't have to weigh it. Don't have to measure it. You just throw it in and ship it out. Because it's a flat rate envelope. How many going out today? 22 from the weekend. 22. I made a sale on every platform. Um, I sell I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. So I've made a sale on every single platform. Appreciate the tacos. Thank you so much. That one is shipped out. How do you figure out uh, what you make? Um, how do you figure out what would make you a lot of experience? Experience, and you can also look up sold comps on eBay. That's the easiest way. Is you just find something in a store, you look up sold comps on eBay. Just bought a uh, badass dead stock 1990s Buccaneers hat. Nice, the orange one. Those orange ones can go for good money. Appreciate the uh, follow, Mark. Thank you so much. Next up, everybody says Tommy Bahama doesn't sell. I sell Tommy Bahama all the time. It's a really good pattern, Tommy Bahama shirt. As you can see by that pattern right there, that's the reason it sold. It's also 100% silk, and it even has an embroidery on the back, and it's still sold for good money. Um, this one sold on Facebook for $36. I paid $10.15 for it. After fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make $19.23. I got this in a bulk buy. That video is up on YouTube. So if you want to go watch it, go check out my YouTube video. I unboxed all of these. Um, I've been selling these consistently, and they're starting to pick back up because obviously it's getting a little warmer outside in the, in the southern states. So what's the flat rate amount again? For the padded flat rate, it's $8.30 to ship anywhere in the United States. That one is going from Florida to California and still only costs $8.30. Um, $8 I was excited um, with my four that went shipped out today. Hey, be excited about that. Don't Like I always say, don't compare yourself to me. I've been doing this for a while. If you just start out, there's no way you're going to have 22 sales in, uh, every single weekend. So don't worry about that. Just keep on grinding. That one is shipped out. If you're interested in these, um, um, these uh, envelopes, by the way, they are linked in my link tree, which is in my bio. Where and how can I buy the shirt hanging on your wall? If you're interested in it, hit me up on Instagram. I will tell you that that 
I'm not selling cheap at all. That one's 350. So if you're really interested in it, I'll sell it for 350. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep it there because I collect them. <clears throat> what about vintage um, summer brand shirts? 70% silk. You gotta look up comps. I don't know off the top of my head. So um, you don't pay shipping through eBay. Um, you print your labels. So I do pay my sh um, shipping through eBay. But these are all face. That was a Facebook sale. The first one was a Mercari sale. Next, we're gonna do our Poshmark, and then we're gonna get into our eBay sale. So you're a new reseller. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and get into those Poshmark sales. First up is a Southern Tide sweater. This is a Southern Tide skipjack sweater. I picked this up at Red, White, and Blue. Um, what did I pay for it? Uh, I paid $6.41. It sold for $28. After fee, shipping, cost of goods, I make $15.99. This one I'm just going to throw in a padded flat rate. Remember, when you sell on Poshmark, you can put them in any um, priority mail envelopes that you want to. So I'm just going to stick this in this one. Can you go grab um, a, a, like four or five of those um, envelopes that are over by the TV? I left them over the there next one? Yeah, I forgot to grab them. Um, how do you get your items to sell? You um, list them against market. You make sure you have good photos, good description, good titles. What's your YouTube channel? It is K-Way Shop. You can watch me there right now. I'm, I'm live on YouTube right now doing the same thing. Appreciate the uh, follow, Siska. Thank you so much. These I'm actually going to stick down here so I don't mix them up. <clears throat> How many items do you post a day? We try to post about 20 a day, five days a week. So we post about 100 items a week. All right, that one is shipped out. Make sure I'm not missing anybody on YouTube. Uh, good morning, Emmeline. Emmeline, that's a good name because my, my daughter's name is Emmelina. Um, good morning, Angel. Does that go for boxes too? Yes, any boxes except for priority mail express you cannot use express mail um, envelopes for um, poshmark but you can use everything else so um can you say average how much um you make a month without no cap i can without no cap i can make i can tell you what i made last month because i have jason hayes spreadsheet if you're interested in this spreadsheet is linked in my link tree which is in my bio 40 bucks of use code thanks wayne 10 you get 10 percent off this spreadsheet's amazing i can literally tell you exactly what i made last month total profit last month was seven thousand one hundred and sixty two dollars and 69 cents before I take my taxes out. So you gotta remember, I'm gonna have to pay taxes on that stuff. So yeah, so that's just a baseline. Taxes won't be that much off that price, but there you go, that's how much I made last month. And right now this month, uh, $6,318. I'm gonna be a little bit lower than this uh, last month, but obviously we have less days. So that's probably why it's gonna be a little bit lower. All right, um, what am I gonna ship out next? Rag and bone. Rag and bone pair of jeans, where are they? <clears throat> Here's a pair of rag and bone pants. I actually just listed these uh, like three days ago and they already sold over on Poshmark. Uh, let me get back to my sales sheet really quick. Uh, rag and bone khakis, I paid $6.42 for these, $6.42. They sold for $42. After fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make $27.18. How many active um, do you have across all platforms? So on um ebay i have just under 2,000 listed actually after i get off this live and i list what i took photos of last night i should have just about 2,000 items listed appreciate the uh, follow Stuart. thank you so much appreciate everybody hanging out too if you're not following hit that follow button top left hand corner i do these lives every single morning i go over what sold and then at night as well we go over or we do some photos we show you the photo process everything on Tuesday night, we're going to be doing a giveaway for subs, so hang out Tuesday night. If you're not subbed and you just want to hang out and see the giveaway happen, that's completely fine. We're giving away a Kuji sweater, and we're also giving away a uh, reseller box valued about $250 or more. I really don't know. It could be valued a lot more, depending on what I put in it. <clears throat> Appreciate the follow. L-M-F-A-O. Um, I've stuff listed, but nothing has sold since December. Josh, I'm going to assume that you have less than 100 items listed. I'm just going to take a wild guess. Take a wild guess, Josh, and say you have less than 100 items listed. And if that's the case, that's probably why you haven't sold much. You got to keep on listing. The more items you have, the more chances you have for a sale. So thanks so much for the information. I'm just starting out. Awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in the chat. On the morning lives, it's pretty hard for me to get back to chat, obviously, because I'm trying to ship and read chat at the same time. But I'm, I'm trying to get as many as I can answered. Um, but if you come to my nightly lives, those are where you can get like pretty much all your questions answered. I answer pretty much everybody. What styles of Southern Tide are profitable? I normally don't pick up the polos anymore unless they're super cheap. Um, I try to pick up the shirts and the best shirt that I've found for Southern Tide to sell 
are the uh, Intercoastal shirts. They sell very, very well. Intercoastal. How do you keep track of all your inventory? Um, I have all my SKUs in my um, eBay listings. I also have Jason Hayes spreadsheet, so that's I can track all my inventory through there. Um, and then uh, you can go over your sales as well through his spreadsheet. So if you're interested, link tree link in my bio. Use code THANKS2010, you get 10% off. How often do you clearance and clear out items randomly? Um, like last month, I um, delisted and relisted a bunch. And right now I have an active um, promotion going 10% off most of my store. I think it's like 500 items out of my store. So I do keep constant sales going, trying to move a, a older inventory. Um, how much do you have to uh, make to pay taxes? Um, there's a rule. It's, it's supposed to be 20 grand. They might move it to the $600 rule. Uh, but I pay taxes either way. I'm a full-time business. I do this full-time. So if I ever wanted to take out a loan or if I ever wanted to buy a new house or anything like that, I need to show all the money I make. So if I hide half the money I make, it's not really good for me in the long run. So I do claim everything on taxes and I highly suggest you do the same as well. All right, next up, we have a South Pole pair of jeans, South Pole. These are actually jean shorts. Um, Dilly, who's probably in the chat, I saw him come in here earlier. These were the shorts. He told me to pick up the jeans and I actually bought the jean shorts, but that's okay because these sold for $30. I paid $6.42, or no, hold on. I paid $8.54 for these. They sold for 30 bucks. After fee, shipping, cost of goods, I still made $15.46 on South Pole jeans. If you guys didn't know, South Pole jeans sell really well, but you want to make sure you buy the full jean and not the uh, jean shorts. Uh, do you feel um, is uh, advantageous to start by setting up basic eBay store or sell without? You don't have to have an eBay store when you first start. Um, I know they give you 250 free listings, but when I started, I started with an eBay store. So love your videos. Appreciate you, Scott. Thank you so much. I got a new one coming out today. You guys are going to see a sneak peek of it here on live because... I sold an item that I made a, a video about last week. I'm gonna make a video um, later today about it. When did you make the decision to go full time? I made it last year. Um, we had just made my uh, just made my son. Well, technically we did. Um, we had just had my son, <clears throat> and I was working at the post office, and I wanted to be able to spend as much time as possible with him. So I was already making more doing this part time than I was making at the post office full time. So that's when I decided to take the leap. So. Love your videos. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. What's your uh, profit margin? What's your profit for the weekend orders? I have not put in my eBay sales. I haven't even shipped them yet. So I would have to put in all of the labels for eBay to be able to tell you my exact profit. I can tell you the profit for Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook because I've already printed out those labels. I've already put that information in. But eBay, I always do after the live. So if you catch me tomorrow and you really want to know how much I made from the weekend, I can definitely tell you. But I can't tell you right now because I haven't even shipped out the uh, eBay orders. So... In our view, I changed my name on TikTok, uh, learning a lot from you. Awesome, Scott Way. Scott Way. We got Scott Way in the house. All right, let's go ahead and ship out the Nike Dunks that sold. These are a pair of Nike Dunks. I picked these up at Salvation Army. I paid $15 for these. These are the older pair of reverse pandas. Um, these came out in 2012. So these are an older reverse panda colorway. Really nice. Um, I paid $15 for these and they sold for $65 after fees, shipping, cost of goods. I make $37 profit because they sold on Poshmark. Really easy to tell Poshmark profit. So there you go. Just got a $15 offer on something <clears throat> here on YouTube. I hope you learn out. Nice. Awesome. Um, do you have pirate ship? And if you do, is it cheaper than eBay shipping? In some cases it is. In most cases it's about the same. Um, I do use pirate ship for my Mercari. I use my pirate ship for my Facebook orders. So that's what I did today before I did live and on live. I uh, bought and printed out those labels. So appreciate the follow, Rel Powerful. On average, how much do you make a month estimate? I already gave that number for last month. I made just over seven thousand dollars profit before taxes last month. I gave the exact number here just a little bit ago. <clears throat> Sure everybody hanging out. If you're over on YouTube, if you could just hit the like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. Get some more peeps over on YouTube. If you guys are watching this on TikTok and you missed any part of this live, you can go rewatch it at any time over on YouTube. Love Pirate Ship for Facebook. I love it too. I get free shipping. I get free shipping on Facebook and then I um, get my labels from Pirate Ship. Happy midday shipping. Yeah, we got, we got a little late of a start today, but that's okay. All right, so these shoes I'm just gonna throw into a um, shoe box. These are 
uh, Priority Mail shoe boxes. You get these free at USPS. And I'm just going to throw these in there, tape it up, and ship it out. Good morning, Beth. You over on TikTok right now? If you could fill up the bar one, for, one time for me, tap the screen. I'd appreciate it. You can tap anywhere on the screen. You can tap me. You can tap the window. You can tap anywhere. Appreciate you, Beth, for the tacos. <clears throat> Thank you for liking the live over on YouTube as well. All right, that one is shipped. Let's get on to our next sale. We have a to another Tommy Bahama shirt that's sold. Tommy Bahama sells really, really well for me. Um, how much did you pay last year on income taxes? Do you want my social security number too? Do you want to know exactly my location where I live? Like, that's crazy. Do you, it's such a crazy thing. Like when you do a business like this, everybody wants to know the exact dollar you make, the exact profit you make. I will tell you this in 2021, when I was part-time, I made, sold $200,000 worth of stuff and I made 54 K profit. I am not going to give out my exact numbers daily, weekly, hourly. I just can't do it because it's not a normal thing that you ask a person that has a normal business. I understand you want to see if this actually works. I make a full-time income doing this. I have three kids. I have a dog. I have a wife. Take care of all of them with this income. So you can definitely do it. Trust me. I'm not, I don't have a course. It's not like I'm trying to sell you a course right now. I'm making you watch. So that way you go buy my course and that's where I make all my money. I make all my money from doing this. And there's a lot of people in the chat that do the exact same thing. So it's really no one's business what you make. Exactly. It's, it's such a weird question. All right. Next up, we got a Tommy Bahama shirt. This one has a really good pattern. This one has been listed for a long time though. I've had this one for, I think over a year. Um, and it's because I listed this without the size and the title. I don't know why I did that, but that's why it took so long to sell. Uh, this one, um, sold over on Poshmark. Uh, let me see. Um, sold for 34 bucks. I paid $8 and 54 cents after fee shipping cost of goods. I make $18 and 66 cents. You wouldn't be doing it if you didn't make money. Exactly. And this is the only thing I do except for social media. I guess you can say I do social media too, but, um, I don't make hardly anything off social media. So <clears throat> what is your blood type? Do you believe in the almighty? It's <laughs> oh, crazy. Yes, I make a good, I could make a good amount of money doing this. If you want to ever see as much as I sell every single month, my last 90 days of eBay sales are in my eBay store. You just go to my eBay store, you click sold, and you can go through and see what I sold for the last 90 days. <clears throat> that should prove to you if it works or it doesn't work. You can get all my totals and everything from that, uh, from my eBay store. It's all public. What's the main difference from going part time to full time? Um, main difference, uh, main difference is I'm a lot happier. Obviously uh, I don't have to work for somebody else. Um, you do have to be on your P's and Q's and you do have to get work done. You can't like just lounge around all day and not work. It's really hard when you first go full time cause you, you don't have a boss telling you what to do. So, um, sometimes you get stuck, you know, just chilling out and not doing what you're supposed to do. And that's, that's probably the hardest part is making sure you're disciplined. But if you like what you do, like I, I like this, um, I really enjoy doing this, then it doesn't ever feel like work. So $3 million a month um, from a shed in his parents' backyard part-time. There you go. There you go. Is it necessary to add disclaimers or refund policy info to your item descriptions? No, because eBay already puts that into your listing. So you fill all that out, and it's right there on your listing. Do you get a discount on eBay fees? Your math is not adding up. Do you get a discount on eBay fees? Your math is not adding up. I don't know what you mean by that, uh, ma'am, ma'am. Explain to me how my math isn't adding up. I literally use a spreadsheet and I input all of my numbers into the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet adds it all up for me. That's before taxes though. Um, so that envelope right there is $8 shipping. No, it's because it's Poshmark. Um, I can use any priority mail shipping. So on Poshmark, the buyer already pays shipping. I believe now it's $7.89 for shipping. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong because I never really buy anything on Poshmark too often. Uh, but yeah, the buyer pays shipping. You can use any envelope you want. And that one is, uh, this one is not, the one I just use is not a flat rate envelope. It's just a regular envelope. So if I were to ship that on on eBay, I would have to weigh and measure it. So seven, eight. Okay. So I got the, I got it right. All right. Next up is a pair of Peter Millar pants. Peter Millar pants. 791 is what my email. Yeah. 791. That's what it is. Um, Peter Millar pants. I picked these up recently. Um, I paid $6 and 12 cents. They sold for $31 after fees, shipping cost of goods. I make $18 and 68 cents after fees, shipping cost of goods. 
Um, so is all your business over eBay? No, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. We haven't even started shipping out eBay orders yet. These have all been from all the other platforms. So again, I'm just going to use one of these Tyvek envelopes. I get these free from USPS.com. Shipped to my door, ordered for free, all that good stuff. So I just put it in one of these. I seal it up and I put some uh, eBay tape on it just to hold it in. Yeah, I sell on multiple platforms, multiple platforms. I use a platform called List Perfectly to cross list them to all the platforms. Another awesome weekend of sales. Awesome, nice to hear. Glad to hear everybody's uh, sales. I know like a couple weeks ago, everybody's worried about their sales, but now everybody's doing good. Appreciate everybody over on YouTube too. If you're watching right now, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. It's free. It takes you two seconds. Just tap that, uh, tap that like button. And if you're over on TikTok, do the same. Tap the screen, send those likes, fill up the bar one time. I'd appreciate it. Had a good uh, eBay sales weekend. Did you? I did. I think I sold 13 items on eBay this weekend. So this weekend was pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. To get the free box envelopes, you have to sign up for a business account. No, you don't have to sign up for a business account. You just sign up with an account on USPS, and then you can order as many as you want. Um, I think they put limits on um, individual orders, but you can just keep reordering as many as you want. I haven't set up Grailed yet. No, I haven't done it. I know I need to, but I haven't done it yet. I keep telling everybody that I am, but then I get swamped. Like today, I have to edit a YouTube video. I'm probably not going to get anything else done. I'm probably not even going to do a YouTube video up today. It's probably going to have to go up on uh, Tuesday, unfortunately. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, you can check out as a guest, too. There you go. Barry said you can check out as a guest. I trust his opinion. <clears throat> uh, uh, Bearded said audio is off, but wanted to say hi. What's up, um, Bearded? Beardy boy's in the house. He's not playing Call of Duty right now because he's at work. If he, was, if he was at home, he'd be playing Call of Duty right now. I got to break this hanger really quick. Beth, appreciate the uh, five, five, uh, I don't know what to call those, stickers, I think, on YouTube. Appreciate the five. Holy cow. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Iron Lungs, appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. All right. We got to throw this. Can you just take this really quick? I don't want to get it all over the place. All right. Next up is a Robert Graham shirt. I picked this up online arbitrage, which means I bought them from a retail store specifically to resell back online for a profit for this Robert Graham shirt. I did pay up for them, obviously, because I bought them new with tags. Um, I paid $33.67. It sold for 60 bucks after fees, shipping, cost of goods. I make $14.33. Why are you breaking things? There's a hanger on the inside of that. So it was shipped with a hanger and I don't want to have to take the whole thing apart. So I just break the little plastic hanger in half and then we throw it away. Um, yeah, I have literally like if I flip the camera right now, you would see I have literally a hundred of those hangers. So I don't need any more. And they're just cheap plastic Robert Graham hangers, so. Um, how do you use special printer for shipping labels? That is a Dymo 4XL you can see behind me. Um, I have that linked. I don't know if it's linked to my link tree anymore. Um, but yeah, I normally had it linked to my link tree. I bought it off Amazon. But I think the prices on those have skyrocketed. So I'm gonna link the 5XL I think after the live. What is your return rate? I have no clue. I think it's like around 3%. It's like three or a little bit higher than three. I can't remember. I actually got a return right before the live too. Uh, what was the site you said um, you link all your stuff to? Um, I use a site called List Perfectly to cross list. I think that's what you're asking. List Perfectly, I have a link tree link in my bio, so. Good morning, blessed. Good morning, good morning. I'm just going to take this, tape it down, and then the Poshmark will be shipped out. And now we have to do our eBay sales. Almost done. We have some really good eBay sales this weekend, too. Some really high dollar ones. All right, that one is shipped out. Got to support my dude, Wayne. Appreciate you, Beth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for hopping over to YouTube as well. Um, you pay for shipping $8 on Posh, and that is deducted from the number you just shared. No, Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping and I never collect it. So therefore it never goes into my spreadsheet. It's just like eBay. If I sold a pair of shoes through the authenticity guarantee program that is shipped through eBay, they collect the shipping. So therefore I don't touch the shipping. It never goes into my, uh, never goes into my spreadsheet. So the shipping is not deducted. The only thing I have to deduct on Poshmark for my fees are going to be my Poshmark fees. And I have to uh, deduct the cost of goods. Two things that you have to deduct. That's a one pl a platform you do not have to put any shipping in. Um, I have people who claim the item has a stain so they can get a return. Any tips to avoid that? Take really good photos. If they want to return it, they're going to make up a random excuse to get a return. That's that's how it happens. Everybody does it. 
Um, they do it with big businesses and they do it with you too. So there's no way to really avoid it. If somebody wants to be sneaky and get a return, they're going to get a return. All right. Next up, we're going to go to our eBay orders and let's go ahead and ship out the one order that we're going to make a video about later. Let me build the box really quick. Appreciate everybody hanging out, tapping the screen, sending those likes. If you're new here, make sure you hit the follow button. I do these lives every morning. You can kind of come back every morning and see how my sales are. You can also go to my eBay store and match up my sales. So if you don't think I really sold something, feel free to go to my uh, my eBay store. Are you left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. This is my right hand. I don't know if I'm flipped on um, TikTok though right now. Thank you for sharing all the information. Appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging out. Um, uh, yes, I got that. I do deduct shipping, um, so I pay. Just curious what he does. No problem. No problem. Hello from Texas. What's up? What's up, Texas? I got my phone holder recommended. Thank you. Let's go. All right, so this is that Mountain Hardware jacket. If you remember, I made a video about this last week. I asked everybody in the comments, would you pick up this jacket? It did have some damage on the bottom, but it really wasn't that bad. And I already knew I was gonna pick it up. I already knew what I was gonna sell it for, but I figured I'd ask the community because this is a good example of something that people would pass on because they said it was damaged and they, they don't think they can sell it. But I only paid $8 for this jacket, $8.56 after um, fees or after um, taxes. I paid eight fifty six. dollars and this sold in about two hours for 70 bucks. So I turned basically just under nine bucks into 70 bucks free shipping. So I did give the buyer a little bit of a deal. If this was in really good condition, I probably could have got a little over a hundred for it, but because it had a little bit of damage, I priced it super low to get it to move and it sold. So um, I am gonna make a video about it here on TikTok and also on YouTube later today. But this is an example of an item. Don't pass on items just because they have a little bit of damage on them, especially if they're a high like value item like this is. People will still buy them. Um, I'm sure the person that bought it really doesn't care because it doesn't really affect the jacket where the damage is. It's just a little bit on the liner on the bottom has a little bit of damage, but it's really not that big of a deal. So, and it sold super fast. I priced it, priced it low to get it to sell. All right, I'm just gonna throw it in an eBay box and ship it out that way. Is that the Mountain Hardware? Yes, it is the Mountain Hardware. It is a goose down jacket. That's why it's like super valuable. It's uh, filled with goose down, so really good. All right, let's go ahead and ship it out. I'm gonna throw this in a box. I don't know where this person lives, but I don't really care at this point. Two pounds, two ounces, or two pounds, three ounces. And it is in a 10 by eight by six box. Throw that into eBay. And this is going to PA, and let's see what Priority Mail is gonna cost us. Priority Mail costs $9.59, so that's how we're gonna ship it. We're gonna ship it Priority Mail. And there we go. So I probably will make close to $50 profit on this. Close to 50 is what I should make. Uh, where do you purchase your products? I get them mostly from thrift stores and retail stores. Um, if you want to watch me thrift, I do live thrifts here on TikTok every single week on Wednesday and sometimes on Tuesday. We might go tomorrow. Um, I'm not too sure yet, but we might. We might go tomorrow. Can you give my posh tips? Um, like how often do you share your closet? I share my closet two to three times a day, just randomly throughout the day. I don't have a bot. I do everything with Poshmark because now you can share your whole closet on Poshmark without a bot. You don't need a bot to do that. You take all your pictures first and then list? No, we do drafts first. So She's right now doing drafts off, off in the corner, working hard, getting all those drafts done. And then afterwards, I take photos. So after I get off live, she's probably going to do a live where she's doing some photos, and, or not doing some photos, taking some, doing some listings. And then in the background, I'm going to get some work done. How do, you know, um, how do you know not to ship the coat in a flat rate box? It's going to PA. So PA is pretty close to where Florida is. So that's how I know not to ship in a flat rate. Um, Normally on a jacket like that, it's not gonna be like five pounds, so it really wouldn't go flat rate. Even if it was going to Cali, it'd probably still be about $13 a ship. I saw a girl sell a purse and make $7,000 profit. I believe it. Some purses can go for big money. Big, big money. All right, this is a sale that just came in right before the live. This is a Travis Matthew shirt jacket. Picked this up online arbitrage, which means I bought it from a retail store to sell back online for a profit. Um, I paid $28.88 for this and it sold for $67.99. It's on sale right now, so that's why it sold. 
Poshmark allows 50 drafts. Yeah, I don't draft on Poshmark, I draft on eBay. And then what I do is I list my item on eBay, I download it on List Perfectly, and then I cross list it from List Perfectly to the other platforms. Hello from Texas. Everybody in Texas is so nice. Every time somebody in Texas comes into the live, they always say hello from Texas, every time. Why are you Texas people so nice? I guess it's just nice living out there in Texas like it is living in Florida, right? It's always nice. What's a draft? Um, if you've ever made a, uh, if you ever like uh, in school, when you wrote a paper, you have a rough draft. So it's, it's just a way to make um, a listing on eBay without finalizing it. Because it's spring, that is. Hello from Austin, Texas. See, Texas is so nice. I like Texas. I need to go visit Texas. All right, this one's just gonna go in a padded flat rate envelope. It's gonna be over a pound. So I'm gonna ship it padded flat rate. I still have one more of those available too. Those have taken a little bit to sell, which is kind of crazy. I thought those would sell super fast. Um, this is going for $8.30. Actually, I should have put it in an envelope. It's already too late at this point because it's going to Florida, but that's okay. I would have saved like 30 cents if I would have put it in a regular envelope. All right. We still have 12 orders, well, 11 orders. Something just sold, but we're not gonna be able to do that on live, obviously. I wish I was in those states. I think everybody does. Texas and Florida is just superior. Um, just made an $87 sale, a router I got for $10. Let's go. What's your experience with people that dispute purchases? I haven't had one of those in a long time. Knock on wood. I wish I had wood here. I got Trisha's hanger. Knock on wood. Um, actually, no, scratch that. I did have one recently, but it was through the um, eBay Authenticity Guarantee Program. And if you guys didn't know, if you ship a pair of shoes through Authenticity Guarantee and someone opens up a payment dispute, you are 100% protected. Even if they win the payment dispute, eBay will pay the company and you don't have any funds deducted from you. That has been the last one I've had in like multiple years. I think the last one before that was like, I want to say two to three years ago. So hi from Puerto Rico. What's up, Puerto Rico? All right, let's go ahead and ship another really good sale. This is a Pendleton shirt, just a normal everyday Pendleton shirt. But you see this little tag right here? That's the reason this sold for so much money. This is an XL long, so it's a big and tall size. I paid $25 and 33 or 36 cents for this in a bulk buy. I paid up for this. The reason being is because I knew it was going to sell for good money because it's a big and tall size, sold for $63. This is a normal, I don't even think this is 100% wool, to be honest. Actually, it is, it's 100% wool, it's just got this nice plaid pattern to it, but it looks basic, and this is something somebody would list super low, and they would think like, list this for 30 bucks and it'll sell, of course it'll sell, but if it's an XL tall, any big and tall size for Pendleton, I always list higher and they always sell for more money, so um, list them high if you get those XL tall sizes. This is gonna go first class, so we'll go ahead and start our printing our label process. I'm just gonna use an eBay poly mailer. I get these with my quarterly coupon. This one has two attached to it. All right, that one's gonna be garbage. That one, the little sticky part fell off. All right, so eBay poly mailer. I would have snagged that 100%. Pendleton is good money. Make sure those big and tall sizes you list up. I'm telling you guys, I have sold so many big and tall sizes for around 100 bucks, it's crazy. Everything is bigger in Texas, including thrifting. I spent all day yesterday um, at Trader. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I've looked over Texas and I've seen how many thrift stores you guys have. It's insane. It's insane the number of thrift stores that are in Texas. Good afternoon, uh, Kayla. Kayla loves. Spelled with a C, not with a K. All right, this is going for 14 ounces. Going first class to uh, Washington, it looks like. $6.78 going first class. Not too bad. Seems to be like 10 of us in here in the San Antonio area. Nice. Hey, 10 of you thrifting. That's, that's pretty good. I don't know if I believe that though. I think there's a lot more people in Texas that are thrifting, but there's a lot of people in Texas. You sell on Amazon? No, I don't sell on Amazon. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. Too many thrift stores account here in Texas. I know I've seen it. I've seen, I've looked at Google maps and I've seen how many you have over there. All right, let's ship out our next order. Let's go with this Robert Graham Polo, another online arbitrage pickup. Obviously, it's brand new with tags. Um, there it is right there. It's just a nice polo, nice um, like floral polo, like geometric floral. I paid $17.63 for this one, and it sold for $44.99 over on eBay. eBay. 3XLT, um, good thing I'm a thrifter. Yeah, big sizes are hard to find, definitely. 
Sounds you can provide free shipping. I do provide free shipping on all of these orders. They're pretty much all free shipping. You'll see there's a couple that I've sold today that aren't free shipping, but most of them are free shipping. I feel like that separates me out from the crowd because a lot of people don't want to give free shipping. You just work the price of the shipping label into the cost of your item. So on this one, I should about double my money after fee shipping cost of goods. And that's what I normally look for when I'm buying um, things online arbitrage. Um, do you go sourcing every day? I don't. We only go sourcing one to two days a week. We go um, live here on TikTok, so give me a follow. Um, you'll get a notification as soon as I go live. And then afterwards, we download those lives and we put them on YouTube, which I'm live on YouTube right now as well. So you can go rewatch those lives. But hang out on Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. That's when we go live thrifting. And that's um, Eastern Standard Time. All right, this is going to ship for eight ounces. So it's going to be really cheap to ship. And let's see what it's going to cost us. It is going to Michigan for $4.20, four twenty. cents, four twenty. Um, what setting do you use for Dymo on eBay? The four by six labels. That's the one you're going to use for eBay. Before you print out your label on the bottom right hand corner, you can change your set, your settings. I should say before you purchase your label on the bottom right hand corner, you can change your settings. Just ordered um, a Jason spreadsheet with the code. Awesome. Let me know how you like it, Tally. Come back, come back in a few days and let me know. It takes a, it takes a couple days to get used to it, but once you're used to it, it's really quick, easy to do. How many items do you usually pick up when thrifting? When we go to the thrift stores, again, go watch those videos. They're up on YouTube. You can see on most occasions, we pick anywhere between 60 to 100 items at that one thrift store. And then sometimes we go to Salvation Army on Tuesday. So in one week, we're picking up like 100, anywhere between 100, like right around 100 items, I'll say that. Um, we are planning to start doing whatnot auctions and we're actually going to start sourcing more and we're just literally going to offload the stuff on whatnot and reseller boxes. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to start up whatnot. I got an onboarding call tomorrow. And then, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make these 10, re 10 item reseller boxes. We're going to fill them up. We're going to show you each item that's in the box. And then we're going to start the auction at like 40 bucks and then let you guys run it up to wherever you feel like you're comfortable with. And then you guys can buy that box and resell it for a profit. We're doing that probably within the next week, probably within the next week or two. More, Moreno sweater. What about them? All right, here's another Robert Graham shirt that's sold. Another online arbitrage pickup. This is just a nice floral geometric one as well. Same size, size medium. $17.63 is what I paid for this one as well. And this one also sold for $44.99. Actually went to a different customer. I thought they sold to the same person because they sold really close to each other, but they sold it, uh, they sold to different people. Um, do you pay to be in the arbitrage? Well, online arbitrage is just a word you use for buying stuff from retail stores and flipping back online for profit. It's not like a group or anything like that. It's literally just the act of going to a website or going to a thrift or going to an actual retail store, buying stuff and then reselling it. So for example, Ross, you can go to Ross, you can find stuff at Ross and you can flip online. That would be, um, that would be uh, just regular arbitrage, retail arbitrage. All right, this one's gonna ship for eight ounces as well. So I'm gonna make about the same profit, probably double my money on this one. And this one is going to Texas, shout out Texas. And is also shipping for $4.20. Yeah, you can go to Marshall's, all those all those stores. That's um, retail arbitrage. What's your cost of goods goals for those shirts? When I'm buying online arbitrage or retail arbitrage, I'm looking to about double my money after fee shipping cost of goods. When I'm doing thrift store purchases, I'm looking to pay like around $5 for something and flip it for 35. That way I make a $20 profit. <clears throat> so I try to average is about $20 profit. You are so informative. Thank you. No problem. If you're new here, hit the follow button. I do these lives every single morning. I'm shipping out orders. Normally it's not this many. Obviously this is weekend orders and on the weekend you get a lot of people buying stuff. But uh, on average days, we're normally shipping like eight to 10 items, hanging out. We can answer a bunch of questions during those lives. So can you explain fi final value fees on eBay? So final value fees, I believe is, I don't, this is a hard question to answer. Um, it's just the fees you pay at the end when you, when you sell an item. So if I sold an item, eBay takes the 13% or 13.9%, I think it is, that's your final value fee. Um, found a Peter Millar. Um, oh yeah, you told me that yesterday. That's awesome. How, what should you list it for? I have no clue. Um, you got to look up comps on that because you have a good, you have a good like dual um, brand working together. So Peter Millar and Laurel Piana, those are really good brands. So you're looking at big money on that one. Appreciate the follow, Sandy. All right, let's ship out our next order. This is a, this is a crappy order. This is this is one that I'm glad is gone. So it's a Foot Joy shirt. It does have the FJ on the collar, which normally drives up the price. 
but this one had damage to it and it's been listed for over a year. Um, somebody finally offered on it. I took the offer. I paid uh, $5.33 for this, probably at a Goodwill a long time ago, back when I used to actually source at Goodwill. This one sold for $16.50. Appreciate the, uh, the uh, gifts hack, thank you so much. The finger hearts, I think is what those are called. Finger hearts. Yeah, finger hearts. Yeah, I'd look up comps on that. That's a pretty crazy uh, combo you got there. Um, you're looking at big money, I believe. Really, really big money. All right, this one is just going to an eBay poly mailer. I get these free with my quarterly coupon. And then I just put this in there and ship it out. Just glad to see this gone. It's been listed for so long. I'm glad it's gone. Ship in for 11 ounces. It is going to North Carolina, so it's going to be pretty cheap to ship. It's only going to cost $4.81 to ship. Why don't you source at Goodwill anymore? Goodwill prices have gone up. Goodwill's greedy, and I find a lot less at Goodwill than I do at Red, White, and Blue. So I'd rather just go to Red, White, and Blue and pick up 80 items than go to Goodwill and pick up five. It just doesn't make sense for me, time and money-wise. And I'm actually paying less at Red, White, and Blue than I am at Goodwill, which is pretty crazy. Finding less at Goodwill, I'm paying more. So yeah, Goodwill retail stores are too high for me to source at. Yeah, they've just, they've increased the prices. Um, if somebody at Goodwill could explain to me how down economy makes you raise prices and you don't have a cost of goods and you don't pay your employees any more money, why would you have to raise the prices? Can somebody explain that to me? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I get it why grocery stores have to raise prices because the cost of eggs have gone up. So they have to buy eggs at a higher price, which means they have to raise the prices of their eggs. So that makes sense. But when you're getting your inventory for free and you're not paying your employees any more money, there's no reason to raise the prices. It doesn't make any sense. Pack an order. We'll watch you in the live. Appreciate it. Get those orders packed. Get those orders packed. All right. Next up, this is the first sale from this weekend. This is a pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. They're size 33, 32. Pick these up. Or actually, I might not have picked these up retail. Actually, I did. I think I picked these up at... Maybe I didn't. I don't know where I got these. I paid eleven seventy six for them. I forgot where I picked them up at. But eleven seventy six, they sold for forty four ninety nine full price. And then they asked you to round up. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. Inflation excuse for everyone but resellers. Exactly. Yeah, our, the prices of our stuff hasn't increased, which maybe it should. It probably should because our prices go up too. <laughs> Thanks for all your tips. Super helpful. Appreciate it. Thanks for hopping in. I'm just glad mine is 50% off color dag. Yeah, ours do too, but by the time it hit 50% off, normally all the good stuff is sold. So again, I'd rather go to a store where like red, white, and blue that obviously taxes on some items. Some items are super high, but they know those are really quality items and other items they keep like at the same price. It's not like super tax. So they're the real vultures, 100%. Appreciate the follow, Tom. Thank you so much. It's gonna go padded flat rate envelope. I get these free from USPS.com. Yeah, they're, they are getting out of hand. Eventually they're going to have to change it up. Goes to post office, gets picked up. Um, this person put an extra, all right. This person lives in a seminary, seminary. Um, so that's why they put some extra uh, stuff at the end. I had to take part of it out because I can't have that many characters. Appreciate the follow, Stacy. Good old prices are not like they used to be, 100%. Um, do you drop packages off? My mail carrier comes every single day to my house. He picks up my, um, picks up my packages at my house. I have a video on how that gets done on my uh, YouTube channel. By the way, YouTube, I'm going to edit the video today. It's going to be out tomorrow, the one from last week. Um, we do full-length YouTube videos every, once a week, but unfortunately, I didn't have time this weekend to get it done, so I am going to be editing at some time today. Um, why do you keep them in clear poly bags? Good, good question. So for one, it protects my items because I live in Florida. I store my items out in my garage. When they are stored in these bags, I don't have an issue with any kind of like humidity or anything getting into them. Also, I put my inventory number on the outside of the bag. So when this is packed away in inventory, it gets put into bins. And then this inventory number tells me exactly the item that I need to grab. So it, uh, it protects my items. Also looks makes it look more professional when the buyer gets it. If you've ever ordered anything from a site like, for example, Nordstrom Rack, they ship their items in plastic bags too. So I would rather ship my items kind of like the big businesses do. And it also takes care of my items. So appreciate the follow, Michelle. Speaking of this, this is a rain spooner shirt. I paid $24.04 for this retail arbitrage. Sold for $40. I am taking a lower offer on this because it's not in season right now. Um, but I know right around 4th of July, these are going to fly. I still have a bunch of these listed too. Good carry. I'm a carry as well, part-time. Yep. I'm a, I used to be just like you. I used to be a uh, mail carrier full-time. Um, I did it for eight years and then, uh, 
the 2021 December, I quit the post office and now this is what I do full time. So I was just like you. Um, do you have a folding tool? No, I don't have a folding tool. If you come to Kayla's live, she will show you how she folds if she's ever packing stuff up. Um, yeah, we just, we just fold it by hand. We just fold it by hand. It's actually really not hard to fold exactly how we do. All right, this is going to ship for nine ounces. And it is going for five thirty three. This one is going to where most Hawaiian shirts go to Hawaii. It's going to be taken good care of in Hawaii. Somebody's going to be wearing this on the beach. <clears throat> you learn. Yeah, it's not too hard. It's not too hard. I need to make another video. I do have a video here on TikTok all the way down um, in my in my uh, feed. Um, wish we had a red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue is an awesome store. Sorry I missed some of your comments over on YouTube. For some reason, YouTube, they have it so where if you comment and I don't read it right away, it basically like disappears and then I have to go find it again. All right, there we go. That one is shipped. All right, let's go ahead. Everybody's talking amongst themselves. So I'm gonna take this time to ship pretty quick. This is a Peter Millar shirt. I actually showed this one on my live. I don't know if somebody, last night I showed this on my live. I don't know if one of you guys went through my store and bought this one, but this is a Peter Millar shirt. It has an embroidery on the front. Um, I paid $9.72 for this and it sold for 25 bucks. I did buy a bunch of really good Peter Millars in this bulk buy that I got this one from. But this is one of the lower end ones. I'm still making a, a profit on it, but the other ones are where I'm going to make all my money. Those ones are listed for around a hundred bucks. So um, that's where I'm going to make most of my money, but I'm still making a decent. Um, on Etsy, you set the shipping um, in the listing. Yeah, same thing on eBay. I've never sold on Etsy before, but it's the same thing on eBay. You set the, uh, set the shipping, but you can always readjust it at the end. And that's normally what I do because I give free shipping. So I'll put in 10 ounces for most of my items even though most of them aren't 10 ounces, and then I'll just edit it when I ship it. This one's gonna ship for eight ounces. So right now it's set for 10 ounces, but I get free shipping, so it doesn't matter. So it's gonna cost 5.33 if it was 10. I put in eight ounces and it drops it to $4.44. So I can do that afterwards. Are you um, an eBay store? Yes, I do have an eBay store subscription. Appreciate the uh, follow, Pook. Uh, Red, white, and blue has different discounts for different days. I believe they do. Um, well, I know they do. On Wednesday, they discount a new color. On Friday, they do a 75% 70 off tag. So yes, they do. <clears throat> I think different areas have different discounts though. Uh, I'm not really sure how they do in different states. I know how they do it here. All right, here's a pretty good sale. This one sold for pretty quick as well too. It took about a week to sell. This is a women's North Face jacket. You can see the North Face hit right there. This is a high vent jacket. I picked it up at Red, White, and Blue just a couple weeks ago for $13.38, and this one sold for $49.99. Pretty quick sale. I believe this is going to be over a pound. Actually, no, it's going to be first class, which is great. I don't know if I had this set up for first class shipping, though. Let's see. Yeah, I got to ship it up, uh, shipping at padded flat rate. It is going to Arkansas, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to just one pound. And a 9112. Let me change this really quick and see if it's cheaper to ship just regular priority at a pound. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, cheaper to ship at regular priority, so that's what I'm gonna do for $7.96. So I'm just gonna grab one of these um, priority mailers, the Tyvek envelopes, and I'm gonna stick it in there and ship it out. I did promise the customer, pri the customer priority sh shipping, so I do have to ship it priority. Milwaukee heated jacket, $8 still works, nice. I don't know what those heated jackets go for. I don't find them too often here, obviously, in Florida. We don't really use those. Um, maybe they go for good money. I have no clue. What shipping program are you using? I'm just shipping on eBay. eBay has its own shipping program. So you just when you make a sale, you just use eBay to ship. Found a London Fog trench coat made with alpaca. Nice. Alpaca is always a good, uh, good one to find. All right. We have four more, three more sales to pack up. One of them sold during the live, so I'm not going to do it on the live. Appreciate you, Line Creek, for all the gifts. There we go. That one is shipped out. Let's see. Scan sheets help tremendously. Yeah, I don't use scan sheets because the reason being is because I sell on four different platforms. 
So if I made an eBay scan sheet, the post office driver would just scan that one scan sheet and think they hit all everything in the box when they're missing out my Poshmark, my Mercari, and my Facebook. So that's why I don't use scan sheets. I just have them scan everything. I worked for the post office. I know how long it takes to scan stuff in. It literally only takes, to, to scan in 20 packages, it should take the post office worker one minute to scan those in at your door. It takes a lot longer at the um, register than it does at your door because all they have to do is just use their scanner and just go beep, 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 and they scan everything in. Super easy. Now to figure out how to ship. You can definitely, shipping is not too hard. Shipping is pretty easy. Appreciate everybody coming in too. If you're new here um, on TikTok, you're just hopping in, tap the screen, send the likes, hit the follow button. What I do on this channel, buy stuff cheap. I resell online for a profit. That's what we're doing right now. We're shipping out some orders. I don't have any courses or anything like that. I'm just giving away the information for free because that's what we do over here. So make sure you hit the follow button. If you want to make a little bit of extra money, this is a live for you. Appreciate the follow. Okay. Um, next up, um, Helly Henson shirt. I really didn't know how well this was going to sell because I couldn't find any exact comps on this shirt, but it did sell for good money. It took about two months to sell. I bought it for $8. It sold for $34.99. I actually picked this up um, during the live with Chris at Peak. No Kuji sweater on today? No, I'm not rocking a Kuji today. No Kuji sweater today. I'm just going to throw these into an envelope and ship them out. Thank you so much. No problem. Um, shipping a large vacuum doesn't sound easy, though. It doesn't. It doesn't sound fun, either. I'd rather ship a shirt any day of the week than a large vacuum. You're totally right. They would... Um, they would miss those 100%, 100%. Um, I found a Canali polo yesterday. Comps look good. Have you sold this brand? I've sold Canali before. The dress shirts tend to take a little bit longer than they used to to sell. I've never sold a polo though in that brand. What's the name of your eBay store? It's linked in my bio. Appreciate the um, subscription. Um, okay, appreciate the uh, subscription. Thank you so much. You will be entered in the giveaway tomorrow night. We're doing a giveaway here on um, TikTok Live. So should be an awesome giveaway. We're giving away a Kuji sweater and a reseller box. So appreciate the... Uh, Appreciate the sub. Do you have a video um, using, the in, in, using the inventory spreadsheet? I don't have a video on it, but if you buy the um, spreadsheet, when you buy it from Jason, he has a link tree link in our, in my bio, I have a link tree link to purchase it. He has a video that goes along with the spreadsheet that tells you exactly how to fill everything out. It's super easy, super simple. It's really, it's straightforward. You can't mess it up. So if you're interested, I have a link tree link in my bio. If you use code thanksWayne10, you get 10% off the spreadsheet. It's $40 for the premium, so you get it for 36. And it's all year. You don't pay like every month 36 bucks. It's all year long you pay that one fee. Um, can you tell us about the sound they make uh, when they scan your packages? Beep, beep, beep. It's really easy. That's why when uh, postal carriers give you guys a hard time and people say like, my postal carrier doesn't scan my packages, I always say like, there's no reason not to because it's so simple. Especially if you only have like four packages, it will take them literally 10 seconds to scan those four packages. They're just, they're just lazy at that point if they don't scan them in. Spreadsheets, yeah, 100%. They're fantastic. Do you ever sell hats? I don't really sell hats too often, no. If I find a good hat, I'll pick it up, but I don't really go out of my way to pick up hats, so. Um, you should the pile, like show the pile of packages. It's just a post office box full of packages. Nothing too special today. It's mostly clothing, so that's why. All right, this is a pretty good brand. I came across this brand last time at Red, White, and Blue. I do sell shoes. I sold a pair of shoes on Poshmark. We already packed them up. If you missed any part of this live, I am live over on YouTube. You can rewatch this live at any time. So this is um, Sugio, S-U-G-I-O. I picked this up at Red, White, and Blue just recently. We listed it last week. I paid $8.56 for this. I listed it for $69.99. I sent a 10% out offer to buyers, and this one sold for $62.99 over on eBay. Really quick sale. Sold, I think, less than a week after I had it listed. This one sold. It is over a pound, so it's going to go padded flat rate. But I'm going to make probably a little over $40 profit on this one, so really good. Do you find sports jerseys? I will pick them up if I find good ones, but in my area, most of the sports jerseys are pretty overpriced, so I don't actually end up picking them up. Two of my biggest sales have been hats. Nice. Yeah, I've sold a few high-dollar hats in my day, but I really don't go out of my way to look for them. I should probably start doing that red, white, and blue because they have a really good hat uh, selection, so... Um, how are we all doing? What's up? Wade's Ventures is over on YouTube. Appreciate you hopping in, Wade. If you guys aren't following Wade's Ventures over on YouTube, he's an, he's an OG on YouTube. He knows all of his stuff, so go follow him. Give him a follow. Appreciate you hanging out over on YouTube. I started doing these lives over on YouTube, Wade. I'm doing a dual live right now. I think you just hopped in over on TikTok as well. So I figured I'd move these over here. I had them on uh, Facebook for a while, and they just weren't performing on Facebook, so I think they're going to do a lot better here on YouTube. 
Um, how do you know what's going to sell? So you can look up sold comps on eBay. For example, this Sugio sweater. After I found it, I asked my chat if it was good when I was doing the live thrift. They said it was really good. Picked it up. I looked up comps there in store and I saw that these were selling for anywhere between $50 to $100 depending on the style. So I just decided to take it and uh, list it. I've never sold this brand before and it sold super fast. So love the YouTube live. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to set up a... Uh, I'm gonna set up a different setup. Right now I'm just using my phone, but eventually I'm gonna get an actual camera for doing this. Um, do you sell, still sell on Facebook Marketplace? Yes, I do. I don't sell too many items on Facebook, but this weekend I did sell a Tommy Bahama shirt. I just love Facebook Marketplace because of the fees. To be honest, I wish I could sell everything on Facebook Marketplace because the fees are so small, but uh, I, don't, I don't sell hardly anything. Facebook is a weird place. It's a weird, weird place. Uh, listed to Mew, uh, new Mew dresses in less than eight hours for sales. Thank you for all the tips. Nice. Let's go. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Last sale is a really good one, but it's one of those items I really hate to pack up because they take forever to pack. Actually, this one, I'm going to resize the box, make it super easy. All right. So all you beer drinkers in the chat, you're going you're to enjoy this Christmas house. Let me see if I can get it out of the box. I put it in here to make sure it fit, and now I can't get it back out. Yeah, can you hold that, hold that end of the box for me? Hang on one second. Technical di difficulties. All right, so all you beer drinkers, you're going to like this one. This is a Limax wall-hanging Christmas house. So this one you actually put up on your wall, and it lights up. Unfortunately, I got two of these in a bulk buy. I picked this up a long time ago. I filled up a whole U-Haul full of these Christmas houses. I had two of these. The first one sold, I believe, for 150 bucks, and that was in pristine condition. This one, as you can see right here, it has a beer that, that gets mounted right to the top right here, but uh, it's like a big beer uh, mug. But unfortunately, it popped off, so I did list it that way in the, uh, in the listing. This one sold for $90 plus shipping, even though it's in uh, bad condition. These are super rare to find if you ever find the wall-hanging Limax houses. Be on the lookout for them, especially if they're in their box. These are highly collectible. There has been some from that bulk buy that I sold for over 200 bucks that were in damaged condition. They're just super rare to find. So if you ever find these, pick them up, pay up for them. They will sell for good money. Um, this is just like a special edition one, super nice. I'm sure the person, when they get it, they're just gonna take this and glue it back on and that's the way they're gonna do it. But I didn't wanna have to do that. I wanted to sell it in damaged condition just in case it ships and it falls back off after it's being glued. Obviously, if they... They buy it and then they glue it themselves. They don't have to worry about it getting jumbled in shipping. So really, really nice one. Um, this is going to go into a priority mailbox. I don't really have to pad this up too much because it's going to fit pretty snug in there. I will throw one roll of padding around it. Yeah, I'm going to throw one roll of padding around the outside of it and then it should uh, work pretty good. Can you throw me the padding over there? It's um, over in the corner. Thank you, thank you. 25k likes. Yeah, appreciate all the likes. If you're over on YouTube right now, make sure you hit that like button in the uh, in the corner, wherever it is on YouTube. Just hit the like button. Appreciate uh, everybody for liking the uh, stream. Appreciate all the follows coming in too. Tenny, thank you so much. All right, let me make some room really quick on the desk. I don't really have a, a really great shipping setup. I just pretty much use my desk, but uh, we'll throw this in. Let me turn this camera really quick too so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just going to throw one roll of padding around this. It is pretty secured. In there, it does have padding all around the inside of it, but I just want to give it one more layer of protection so that way it doesn't get jumbled up in shipment. So there we go. <clears throat> Beautiful, and now we have to create our box. So I'm just doing one layer and we're going to resize our box. You guys get to see our a resized box today. Uh, you kind of have uh, have room in your house for this business, 100%. Um, I used to do this all out of my garage though. So if you have a garage space, you can do it in your garage. All right, next up, I'm gonna make my box really quick. Just subscribe to your channel, awesome. Yeah, Wade, Wade knows his stuff. So if you guys aren't following Wade and subscribe to him over on YouTube, you definitely should. He's one of the OGs. I remember listening to him on Pure Hustle Podcast. Very K-Way Christmas, definitely. Christmas stuff sells year-round, so if you have any Christmas stuff, you can list it. It will sell. Um, I had this one, I think, listed for $150, and then I had the offer on it. I just decided to take it. 
because obviously it's not in season. And I do want to move some of these items because I've had them listed for so long. So appreciate all the free gems. Um, starting December, they became a top-rated seller this month. Awesome, let's go. Awesome to hear. Appreciate you hanging out. All right, so I'm going to just resize this box. As you can see, um, I could throw some padding on the top, but to be honest, you don't really need to um, because, again, it is pretty padded. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this here box cutter and I'm going to cut down the sides and then I'm just going to resize the box. So it's pretty easy to do. I wish I could angle my camera so you guys can see this better, but I think you can see pretty well. I'm just going to cut the box sides down until I hit the corner of the, um, the item that's on the inside. Since it does fit in there pretty perfect, it's pretty secured in there. It's not going to move around at all. You can use a box resizer for this. I know um, Wagon Trails, if he's watching right now, he'd be like, you could just use a box resizer, make it easy. Or you can just use a knife and a pair of scissors. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go on the inside of the box and you're going to score the box like this. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to score around the outside of the box. And then now that it's scored, it's going to fold a lot easier. So you're just going to fold down the flaps. And there you go. That is your resized box. Fits perfectly. Yeah, the camera might be backwards. I'm sorry. The camera is flipped. Um, he's right. Yeah, it's flipped. My bad. It doesn't show me on TikTok when it's flipped. It's really annoying. Like, <laughs> I don't know why TikTok changed that. But yeah, I'm right-handed. All right. I'm just going to tape this down. I do need some more. Can you throw me another thing of tape over there? Should be another roll in the bottom. Oh, is that the broken one, though? That uh, is the broken one. Um, Where'd that box go? There's, uh, there's a, it's actually out there. If you go out to where that big box is, you're going to have to open up the big box, and there should be a small box of tape on the inside. I would use this tape, but there's a little damage right here, and I've tried to use it before, and every time I roll the tape, it hits on that part. It's really annoying, so... Give her a second. She's going to grab the tape for me really quick. Appreciate the uh, roses, Joe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat right now since we're just hanging out. Appreciate all the likes over on YouTube. Appreciate the 25K likes over on TikTok. Really appreciate it. Do you ever sell Legos? I have in the past. I've actually bought a big bulk buy of Legos um, on Facebook Marketplace. They were the um, Architect Edition, I believe. I bought them off this kid. He just wanted to get rid of his collection. I bought them pretty cheap, and I made like double my money in like two days off of them. I love selling Legos, especially if you can get full sets. So appreciate all the likes. We're going to get this one done in here in just a second. Just got to get another roll of tape. I would use this one. I really wish this was, I got to file this down or something. Cause every time I roll this on this thing, it gets stuck. It's really annoying. Um, why resize the box uh, way bigger? Um, why resize there is the box way bigger. So for one, I save myself on supplies. I don't have to throw a bunch of extra supplies in here. If I just fold it down on top. Two, it also makes the box a little smaller. I don't think it's going to save me on money, but it makes the box a little smaller. There's none in there. Boxes and there's... I, I thought we do have a box somewhere. No, what is this? Is, this is it that might be tape? No. no that's the okay, I guess I'm going to have to deal with this. I thought we had another box of tape. It's somewhere around here because I know I bought some more tape, but I don't know where. Is it around the corner? No? All right, you guys are going to see me str struggle with this tape then. Let me find where the start of the tape is. Hopefully we got more tape because that sucks. I'm gonna have to go make a run to the post office or run to the store to get some tape today. Thought I had some meshed. No, it wouldn't be out in the garage. I'll look for it. It's it's in here somewhere. I know I ordered it. No, there's no tape in there. That's okay. What about WWE rubber wrestling dolls? They might be worth something. I don't do sell too many toys, but I'm sure somebody in the chat who sells toys can answer that um, question a lot better than I can. See, it's already getting stuck. Dang it. At least I only have to use a little piece of tape and then we're done. And we'll figure it out. There we go. All right. That should be good enough. We got it taped down. And now we just have to weigh it. Um, the buyer did pay shipping on this. This is one of my collectibles on all my collectibles. I pretty much charge shipping on. Um, so this is one I charged. Um, this is set for six pounds. I don't know if this weighs six pounds. Actually, it might actually weigh six pounds. Yes, it does weigh six pounds. So we're going to ship it in the six pound rate. 
it is going to Cape Coral, Florida. So they're not paying that much for shipping. They're only paying $8.26 to ship this out, which is amazing for them. Um, I wonder if this, how much does it cost more to ship for seven ounces or seven pounds? I'm just curious. Seven pounds is eight fifty. dollars um, Since I'm not getting the exact weight, I might just put eight fifty dollars for this. That's fine. Shipping priority mail. And this one should be dropped off within a day, which is really good. Where do you get the eBay tape? I get it from, um, I use my store coupon every quarter and I get my eBay tape for free. Um, um, I'll buy the wrestling dolls from you. How much do you want from them? The wrestling dolls that I picked up or the ones that they're talking about? I do have some wrestling figures that I picked up recently, but I don't know. I looked them up. They like go for like $10 a piece. So if you want them, um, AMW trains, I'll sell them to you. I got no problem doing that. I'll sell them to you for like $30 free shipping if you really want them. I don't, really, I don't really feel like listing them. Where are they at? Hold on, I'll show you. We'll show you what they are. These things. Um, how many are there? I think there's seven. There's a couple that aren't wrestling dolls. Like this guy's not a wrestling. But then we have, and this one's not a wrestling figure. I think this is a He-Man figure. I looked it up. But then we have these guys right here. I don't know who these guys are. I don't watch too much wrestling anymore. We have this one. We have this one. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley. I guess this is what this guy is called. Uh, I know this guy, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. Picked them up at Red, White, and Blue. I figured I'd give a shot selling toys, and then I know I'm never going to list these. So MVP. The reason I know his name is because it says it right there. MVP. And then... Um, I think this is Edge. I want to say that's Edge. I know him from back in the day. So there's like five, how many? Five WWE figures, and then there's two like random figures. So your brother-in-law needs those? He definitely does. He definitely does. I'll eventually list them. I was just going to list the wrestling figures in a lot. So question for you. Flip bro. What's up, Chris? If you guys don't follow Chris at Pete, go give him a follow. He's hanging out in the chat. I just know I'll never list those. So what's your favorite wrestler um, from back in the day? It's probably like, I'm pretty basic. I'm pretty like stone cold. I love stone cold, but I haven't watched wrestling really that much in years, years. What printer do you use? I use a Dymo 4XL dog friendly live. This is not a dog friendly live. We had, we had um, tacos set as our goal. So yes, I would just lot them. Yeah. That's what I'm probably gonna do is just lot them up. <clears throat> first one was sting. Okay. First one was sting stone cold in the rock. Ricky the Dragon. I don't know who Ricky the Dragon is. Ultimate Warrior. I think I remember Ultimate Warrior from way back in the day. Way, way back in the day. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you have any um, last minute questions, feel free to drop in the chat. We just packed up 22 orders. I do have one more to pack up too, but it sold during the live, so I didn't pull it for the live. And I can't take both cameras out to the garage to show you how I pull, and I do lose connection every time I go out there. So we'll pack that up after the live. So do you accept returns over 30 days? No, I only do 30 day free returns in most cases. Give me a hell yeah. I'm Brutus the Barber, beefcake kind of guy. You, you do look like a beefcake kind of guy. Ric Flair, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Bret Hart. Oh, we got some good ones. These are like older ones. I don't think anybody likes the newer people. They all, all Everybody likes the older people. Thanks for sharing everything. So helpful. Appreciate it. Like I said, I do these lives every morning, ship out orders except for Sunday. And I do lives every night except for Saturday night where I'm uh, listing. That's probably what we're going to do here in a, a few minutes. Kayla's going to go live. So if you're not following Kay the Book Nerd, that's my wife. She is going to go live. She's going to do some listings. So if you guys want to hang out with her, um, talk books and all that kind of stuff, that's going to be her live. Yeah. So Kay the Book Nerd, um, somebody just asked if you're going live. 100% Kay the Book Nerd. Go give her a follow. Um, Dusty Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes. Somewhere around here is wrestling figure parts. Heartbreak Kid. Taker. Heartbreak. Uh, Undertaker. I'm surprised nobody said Undertaker. For the wow. Nobody said Undertaker. That's pretty crazy. When? She's going to be live in the next like five, 10 minutes. As soon as I get off, She's going to get on. Chris, I would love to wrestle you anytime. If if we can set up the Jimmy, Chris, Wayne, Mud Wrestling, I would 100% do it. Thrifty Duckies just put her um, live or her handle in the chat. Kay the Book Nerd right there. Everybody go follow her. She's going to be live. I'll be in the background getting some work done, and I can answer some questions on her live. Well, normally, we have a lot less people. We have about 100 in her live, so I can answer a lot more questions. Um, um, 21... 
you sold 200,000 and profit of 54. Was that you reinvested in stock? Yes, I reinvested in a lot of stock at the end of the year because I knew I was gonna go full time. So I did buy a bunch of stuff. I was, I literally had the biggest death pile you will ever see in 2021 at the end. Also, you gotta count in um, the cost of goods, the cost for shipping labels, um, the cost for supplies, all that stuff. To make 25% margins on any business is really great margins. And most business, most people that um, run businesses will tell you that's really good margins on any business. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and head off. I appreciate you guys hanging out. If you're over on TikTok and you missed any part of this live, you can go rewatch it on YouTube. I am live right now on YouTube as well. That will be posted. I think it takes about an hour to buffer and then you can go through and watch it on um, YouTube. Um, if you have any questions also throughout the live, you can ask again on YouTube and I will answer your questions after live is posted. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure to go over to Kayla's live. She'll be live here in a little bit. Kay the book nerd. Go hang out with her and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.